Now on the channel, we've done lots of modifications to airplane. We've added seats to cargo planes like the Beluga, or we've added a second deck to passenger airliners to fit more people in, but we've especially made them a lot longer. A340 Extreme Pencil Edition, question mark. Now that's all cool, but why have we never made them wider is the question. And honestly, it's a good question overall. Why aren't airplane manufacturers making their planes wider? Why is there no passenger airliner that has more than two aisles? How about three? How about four? I've done a, something very stupid. You know, it's a simple modification, really. All you need to do is scale the airplane on the x-axis four times. And then you're left with whatever the hell uh, this is. Everybody, welcome aboard the Airbus A330 Fat Edition. We have definitely um, sized up the airplane, but only horizontally. It is generally a flat pancake. And it genuinely kind of works, maybe. Welcome back, everybody, to the channel and the Swiss 001 project, where we today have an airplane that genuinely does not feel like real. It's like so awkward to look at this. And the fact this is like, this is not a distorted image. This is actually the flight simulator. I mean, look, I'm gonna, uh, like, look, you can, you can go here near. And it is sort of fully functional. Look, in fact, we can even open all the doors, and they work. Like, look at this, the catering door the cargo door even works as well um now this airplane once again is four times as wide as the normal a330 it still fits on a runway though and everything is literally scaled up uh like the landing gear look at it it looks like a monster truck uh the engines are not scaled up because we couldn't really just scale them on like horizontally they have to be round genuinely a circle because otherwise they will not spin so that's all right we've added four trend 7000 engines that's okay where it gets really interesting though is the inside of the airplane, which is completely broken <laughs> it's actually funny everybody welcome aboard the airbus a330 cockpit which is now turned into such a wide thing that i mean the chairs are literally benches i mean look at the pilot chair you could sit with literally four people here because we've made it four times the width i mean uh, i mean honestly we have quite good visibility to the outside we can see quite a lot of the runway this feels sort of like a cruise ship deck really the funniest part is that some buttons are oh wow this is completely broken i've not really done this properly but look the reading light works ha where it gets really trippy though is actually when you try to enter the cabin because this door is sort of broken but we can open the cargo door still which is sort of uses because this is translucent for a reason and look at this we've got a crew bed that now fits like four people but it gets really game changing in the cabin see have you ever been on one of those big ferry like like ships this is kind of it just kind of lifted the hood a little bit as you can see we've got and this doesn't even look that poorly modeled we've got three airbus a330s here literally with economy with business and premium economy and first class this thing can seat around 900 people on a you know very nice configuration and that is just insane we can even take a look at the huge cargo hold that we've got now don't even get me started on the landing gear um yeah this video is absolutely stupid i really want to see if this thing flies let's go and close the hood again and generally try to fly this big boy we've got four engines those should perform nicely and i have no idea how we're going to fly this playing properly i like how it has the enunciator still here let's see if we can release the park brake yes we can it's just all elongated which breaks literally everything the screens don't really work but the buttons on the mcu work interestingly the flaps come down that is good and i really want to see what the interesting landing gear eagle claw mechanism looks like here on this airplane is this even going to fly at all i'm not sure i mean we prep way pretty much three times this amount of the a330 but there we yes look at that and we have the butteriest landing gear that's interesting let's go and put the landing gear up and see if that breaks any other animation that yeah that doesn't look necessarily any good but look at this ladies and gentlemen we are flying on an airbus a3 uh oh the nose yeah just with the width of it the whole mechanism it would be too too big to actually oh that definitely doesn't look great at all. And oh, this is the rest of the landing gear. This thing, like, when it flies flat, is completely broken. Look at this. But other than that, having a flat plane like this, it would definitely fly. It just looks 
so it's she extremely stupid. I don't. This just still looks weird. I mean, look into the cabin like you generally have to shout to get to the other end of first class. Look at this. This is normally the width of an A330 first class. This is where the windows would be. But they're over there. They're in another dimension. Look at this airplane taking off from New York City. This must be a very confusing sight. It actually does fly quite nicely, though. I don't mind it at all. I just wish the cockpit would, like, work at least. Only, like, shouts at me. This is perfect. Now, I can maybe make this video a little bit informative at least, you know, actually talk about why don't we see any wider airplanes than what maybe, maybe the A300 is relatively wide. It's obviously because of like airport restrictions. Obviously, a plane has to fit on a gate, not in terms of its length, but in terms of its wing span, in terms of how wide it actually is as a package. And this thing would definitely uh, struggle to find anything anywhere. By the way, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and land. I'm gonna use this view right here so I can actually see something. Here we go. This airplane flies really nicely. Well, it just still has to fly by wire and it really doesn't care. Let's go ahead and land now. 20. Retard. 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 Oh, stop calling me that. Okay, that might have been a nice landing. Let's go and put a reverse thrust right now. Look at that. On all of the four engines, it's giving a reverse thrust. Yes, the engines might be overhanging the wings, but this was actually a really good landing. <laughs> Look at the flexing on the wing. That is so dumb. The wing flex on this guy is crazy because of just the insane wingspan. This thing is like 200 meters more. It's like 300 meters of wing. <laughs> and what's like so trippy about this thing is that when you look from the side to the landing gear, it looks, this looks like a normal A330 now. Like maybe it has four, maybe it could be A340. But when you start changing the view to, to the front, it's just absolutely insane. I, I have created a really, really, <laughs> Either way, there's something nice about this airplane not being super long. It looks like a tic-tac. Uh, there are quite a lot of advantages to wide-body airplanes. For example, boarding is a lot quicker. You have a lot of space here, too. Very comfortable. Like, you have to walk the same distance as the A330. It's just going you know, to work out a lot quicker. It's like people don't need to put their stuff in, you know. This is kind of nice. Oh, I, I just hate looking at this airplane. Another reason why airliners aren't made to be wider is because nowadays, airliners are not made to be any bigger anyway. Why? Because, I mean, look at the A380. Airlines are struggling to actually make the airplane full of people. Trying to find a thousand people that want to go from London to New York in a single airplane. Anyway, let's go ahead. I want to actually trust this airplane. I think we might be able to stop. We've got the widest landing gear of all time. And so we've got a lot of, it, like, attack surface, you know, on the on the tires. Uh, all right, we're probably coming in for a very hard landing now. Oh, that was, that wasn't good at all. Oh my God, the wing flex, by the way, must be crazy here. <laughs> Look at this though, we've done it. This is great. And everybody, we made it though on the widest, widest airplane in the world. And actually we kind of fit onto the runway to be fair. So this is uh, going, going perfectly. I, I like this. Now, I think flying through turbulence with this thing is actually genuinely funny because of just how massive the wing is. Let's go ahead and make this turbulence severe. So we've got a lot of wing flex happening. Yeah, that is shaking up the entire airplane. One wonderful, wonderful stuff. And yeah, this is an absolutely insane idea. We don't fit anywhere on this airplane. By the way, how does no swoop steering? Oh yeah, that's highly realistic. Like sure, we fit onto the runway of LAX and actually our wings are not even overhanging the grass. Sort of, kind of. By the way, look, look at the, that is hopeless. That is wonderful. But like moving about here, oh, I feel like poop. Putin. Look at this. Where in the world would you park this? You'd need three stands to park this thing. And also, I wonder what other airlines look like here with our modifications. Oh yeah, Virgin Atlantic. That's probably what it is. Look at that. That looks natural. It all looks sort of, it looks pretty good. <laughs> That's like the worst part. This is definitely super, super trippy. So buddy, I hope you had fun indulging into my genius. Once again, solving the world's problems, but we didn't save, serve, solve any. Um, hey, Airbus, if you if you want to, you can reach out to me, and I can give you some other ideas. 
Until then, I do have to say, if you are an airline, keep that fitness up. Otherwise, they're gonna look like this. You can build a whole roof terrace here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Oh, I, I gotta go to sleep. Good night. The special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Durham, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.